Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist. In this video, I'm going to show you nerve glide exercises to release sciatic nerve entrapment and piriformis syndrome. First, I'll start with a brief overview of the anatomy of the sciatic nerve, including symptoms and causes of compression. Then we'll jump right into the nerve glides. The sciatic nerve originates in nerve roots from the lower lumbar spine and sacrum. It runs down the buttocks, right underneath or through the piriformis muscle, down the back of the leg to the foot. Now the nerve can be pinched, compressed, irritated, or inflamed anywhere along its pathway, most commonly in the buttocks due to tightness in the piriformis muscle, otherwise known as piriformis syndrome. Nerve entrapment could also be caused by injury to the low back, pelvis, or legs, and other medical conditions. Common symptoms include pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness along the entire pathway of the nerve, and limited range of motion in more severe cases of nerve compression. The nerve glides I'm going to show you today will help release entrapment anywhere along the path of the sciatic nerve. Among the many possible options for treatment of a nerve entrapment, this video is specifically focused on using nerve glide exercises. Nerve tissue does not like to be stretched and pulling on both ends of the nerve at the same time does not help to relieve a pinched nerve. Instead, nerves respond well to flossing or gliding, which is to move one end of the nerve at a time, to gently mobilize the nerve along its pathway and to free up the area of constriction or compression. These movements are performed gently with smooth and slow repetitions. There is no hold involved. Mild discomfort and numbness and tingling are common while performing the movements. These sensations should not be severe and they should dissipate within a couple minutes of completing the exercises. During the flossing movement, if numbness and tingling becomes severe, then stop the exercise, shake it out, and rest. After the numbness and tingling completely go away or return to your baseline, then try the exercise again with slower movement and not going quite as far into the range of motion. See how your body is able to handle that, and once you get used to the movement, then continue building up repetitions. These movements should not be painful. If pain occurs, stop the exercise and rest. When you go back to trying the exercise again, be sure that you're performing it properly. Start with a slow, small range of motion and build up gradually. For best results, perform these exercises one to three times a day, depending on how well your body is tolerating the movement. Start with as many repetitions as you can handle and gradually build up session by session. You might start to notice some decrease in symptoms as soon as the first session or the first few sessions, but lasting improvement typically requires consistent daily performance for about six to eight weeks. I'll be demonstrating these movements lying down. Nerve glides can also be performed sitting or standing up. However, I find them to be most beneficial and easily tolerated lying down, where there's less compression through the lumbar spine. We will start the nerve glides with movement at the ankle, then move up to the knee, and finally the hip. Use a long strap, belt, or rope to get the most out of these exercises. Lying comfortably on your back with your head supported on a low to medium height pillow. Start with your legs fully extended, arms by your side, and have your rope or strap handy. The first nerve glide will involve movement at the ankle. Bend your ankle, toes pointed up, pause, and lower. For greater stretch, bend your toes as much as you can so you're lifting your toes up toward your shin and relax. Continue with slow, smooth motion, pausing at the top of the motion and pausing in the rest position. Be sure to keep your knee straight. Don't let your knee bend as you pump the ankle up and down. In order to keep your knee straight, it's helpful to activate the thigh muscle and the buttock muscle. Continue bending the ankle up, toes toward the ceiling, and then relaxing. Continue with the ankle pump for 10 repetitions. The second nerve glide will add movement at the knee. Bring the strap under the ball of the foot. Use the strap to gently stretch your ankle, toes pointed toward the ceiling. 
Now slowly straighten your knee, bringing your foot up toward the ceiling. Only go as far as you need to, to feel a little bit of stretch in the back of the leg. And lower. Use the strap to support your foot and to apply gentle stretch at the ankle. Perform 10 repetitions, or as many as you can tolerate. If you need to come out of the movement, shake your foot a little bit, that's just fine. You might find it easier to start with just three to five repetitions at a time. Rest as long as you need to, and then return to complete 10 repetitions total. Okay, the last nerve glide will add movement at the hip. Start with the strap under the ball of your foot. Now with your leg out straight, use the strap to support your foot and apply a little bit of a stretch at the ankle. Now we'll lift the leg up as far as you feel comfortable going. That's about it for me. I feel a pretty good stretch in the hamstring as well as a bit of a nervy stretch throughout the entire back of the leg. Pause briefly here and then lower. Pause at the low point and come back up to the top. Pause and lower. Continue to lift and lower your leg with slow, smooth repetition. Perform 10 repetitions or as many as you feel comfortable starting with. If it feels more comfortable to do three to five repetitions at a time with a rest break in between sets, that's just great. Gradually work up to 10 repetitions as you can. And that wraps up the nerve glides for sciatic nerve entrapment and piriformis syndrome. Check out my other videos with stretches and strengthening exercises for piriformis syndrome. The links to those videos are in the description below. I hope you find these nerve glide techniques helpful for decreasing your symptoms and helping you get back on your feet to do the things you love to do every single day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There may be other points of compression farther up in the lumbar spine that are not addressed with these nerve glide techniques. You might find it helpful to check out some of my other videos on low back pain. So click the links in the description below to check out some of that other content. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a wonderful day.